Hey everybody, Justin Pittman here from Precision Fly and Tackle, and we're here today to give you a gear review on the Douglas Upstream Series. If you like what you've seen in our previous gear reviews, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and any and all of our other social media outlets. We greatly appreciate it. I want to start out by saying this is probably one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I have. And you've probably heard me in some of my other reviews. I am a gear junkie. I love gear. Um, and one of the things and principles I stand on here at Precision Fly and Tackle is finding pieces of equipment that we stand behind and we like from all of our companies. And the Douglas Upstream is one of those. Um, Douglas hit the ball out of the park with this. And I will tell you what, there's, a, there's some rods in this series that are absolute gems. We're going to talk about this series. Um, these are my personal rods, or one of them here. Um, we got a couple other ones um, that we'll talk about. But what Douglas did was they built a rod that is a medium action rod with the feel of fiberglass slash bamboo, but graphite technology, graphite durability, and super, super lightweight. Douglas has eight series in the upstream series, starting at a six foot six three weight and going to an eight foot eight four weight. Out of that series, I personally enjoy to fish the seven foot six three weight six piece, the eight foot three inch three weight four piece, and the eight foot eight four weight four piece. I'm also going to talk about a couple of the differences in this series and for the consumer what you should be looking for if you're looking to buy one of the upstream rods. The first rod and my absolute favorite rod is the upstream seven and a half foot three weight six piece. As you can see there, that is your first section. Douglas did this with spigot ferrules, which is hard to find at a rod at $469. This rod range does range from the three four piece rods around $389 to the six piece rods at $469. You can see here that it comes in a tube like this and again six pieces. The other rods in this series that come in six piece rods are the seven foot three weight and a six piece. They have an eight foot three weight and a six piece. What I have found with the six piece rods in the upstream lineup is they do tend to be a little bit stiffer, which I like. They are still a medium action rod, but a little bit stiffer in that mid to butt section, which I like. On this rod, the seven and a half foot three weight, I actually throw this rod on some of the mountain streams around us with a Rio Gold taper, which is a half weight heavy. I like it because it loads that rod extremely close. I bought this rod because my wife and I are avid backpackers. We do a lot of backpacking in upstate Pennsylvania where we're backpacking in anywhere between five to eight miles to pretty remote streams and some small streams. As you can see, this rod packs tightly down. Douglas does give you a rod bag as well, which is nice because that allows you to eliminate the tube if you are a backpacker and pack that in your water bottle pockets on the side of any backpack or um, some of the newer raw backpack systems from Fish Pond, Sims, and Umqua um, have systems for packing rods. But that's why we bought this rod and that's why we love this rod. The eight foot three weight six piece also shares a very similar action to the seven and a half three weight. Another thing, and I'm going to throw this out there as an alternative, we get this question a lot in our shop is, I love to Euro fish, but I'm doing it on streams that are three, four, five feet wide, and a 10 foot rod is too much. Well, one of the things that we've been playing with here at our shop, some of our staff, including myself, and some of our close friends and customers, is in that eight foot three weight six piece and that eight foot three inch three weight, that rod is so sensitive and got such a soft tip that we have built out micro Euro leaders for those small Euro nipping um, situations where you want a super soft rod to be able to Euro 
but also enough rod to throw good dry droppers and everything in between. We hopefully will be adding this spring and summer. We'll get you some good pictures of these rods out on some backpacking trips in some backcountry. Um, the other thing about the four-piece rods is you will see that <clears throat> they are a lot softer. Small diameter. The seven foot three inch three weight weighs in at 1.6 ounces. I believe if it's not one of the lightest rods on the market, it has an, all the rods in the series, including the eight foot eight four weight, have an all cork grip and reel seat with rings. If this is something you're looking for, if you're looking for a great wet fly rod in that eight foot four, eight foot eight four weight, four piece, outstanding wet fly rod, all the way down to the six foot six three weight four piece for small stream brookie fishing, this Douglas Upstream is an outstanding and fantastic rod. Douglas did an excellent job. There's not really anything else on the market quite like it. You know, we've compared this to some of the original Orvis Superfines and even some of the original Scott G series. And pound for pound, weight wise, this rod meets every one of our check boxes. So again, if you're looking for a great small stream, spring creek, dry fly, or just a utility backwater small bush rod, take a look at the Douglas Upstream series. You can find that at precisionflyandtackle.com. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. And thanks again for watching, and until next time.